everybody, my name is Dan or Caveman Films and welcome to another Minecraft video. Now recently a snapshot just came out that made a lot of people really happy. It's called 19W07A and it added a brand new mob to the game that everyone has been excited about. Of course, I'm talking about the fox. These guys are awesome. They're so cute. They've got these little derp eyes. They fall asleep in the shade. They chase their tails. They you feed them berries and that's how they, you know, they make more foxes and they're just really cute. And I can completely understand all the hype that goes behind these little guys because they are freaking adorable. However, there is another update that kind of flew under the radar of some people that makes me way more excited because it's something I've been wanting for a very long time. And I guess the best way to explain it to you is to show you these two examples. Now, you might be wondering what kind of examples. I, I see a painting. I see some water. Well... You're right, this is just a painting. This is how paintings have always acted until the snapshot. They are just a static image, kind of just used as a decoration, hanging on the wall. That's about it, right? And below us is water. Now, what's so special about water is that it has an animated texture. I guess you could also say that for, um, you know, lava or lanterns or anything like that. But there's an animated texture. And the way textures are animated in Minecraft is you have one picture, you have one PNG file, and it has different instances of the texture and there's a JSON file in the config folder of Minecraft that kind of like tells Minecraft to read the next texture over a period of time. And they've now opened that up to painting. So what you can do and what the title of this video has definitely already let you know is that you can make movies and you can make animated pictures in Minecraft. And of course, the first thing that people do when they are able to do it, is put the freaking B movie in Minecraft. So go into my living room and voila, we have the B movie in Minecraft. Now you might be noticing that it looks more like I'm sitting on the fast forward button on my remote. And you're correct because the way this works is that it's a huge file. Every single picture right here is a different picture and it is red through a resource pack. So if we go into my resource packs, you can see the B moving painting zip is there and that's it. That's all you have to do to have B movie in Minecraft is you can download the resource pack. Link's gonna be in the description leading to the Reddit post made by Shane H7646, who is the guy who created this, uh, this beautiful marvel of ingenuity. <laughs> now, you might be noticing also that it's in a really low pixel count. It's very low res. And the fact is, you can make this way higher res, but I think he was trying to make sure that even on a toaster, the B-movie could run on your computer. Because the higher the quality of the file, the higher the data that is needed, and the more powerful of a computer you need to actually be able to watch it. So, I've actually got a much higher quality video in this room. Credit to Destruction for making it. And it's actually one of my favorite Disney movies, or TV shows, I guess. And that would be... Gravity Falls and what we have here in front of us is the entire Gravity Falls opening minus a sound that uh, is running on this wall and you can see how smooth it is how high quality is this is 720p and the way they've actually managed to do this is that if I took off the resource pack which I'm going to do right now you would find out that it's just two paintings on the wall that is it there's no redstone required it is just two paintings and he synced them up to have the same kind of frames, but obviously this is the left half of the screen. This is the right half of the screen. And that's it. That's how you have Gravity Falls on your freaking wall. If I take off the B-moving painting and we go back and see what the actual B-movie looked like, that's what it is. That's all it is. It's just these paintings with a resource pack that now allows you to view them all. And I am so happy for this. There are so many cool things you could do with this. You could make it so that, uh, like for instance, you could be in a haunted house and you could have a paint, like a haunted house map and you could have a painting right here that could like look at you as you walk past or blink. If you like activate it, like if you walk near it, you could see it blinking or being scary. You could see jump scares happen too. Um, I'm just thinking of all the possibilities and there are so many. This is also really good for like machinima makers because now you can make like a in-game TV and the hardest thing about machinima sometimes is getting the angles right on the video that you're post editing and you don't have to do that now because it's in the game 
and it looks great. So I'm really, really excited. Now, that's about it for this. It's a really, it's still, you know, it just came out. People are still figuring it out. But I do have a caveat. This right here, the Gravity Falls thing, all by itself, the resource pack is half a gigabyte. So if you do it for a very long time, I could see someone managing to make a full movie in Minecraft play on a TV here. But it would be a gigantic file size. And a lot of weaker computers probably wouldn't be able to actually use it. But it's still such an awesome proof of concept. And I'm really excited to see what happens later because what if you can like sync audio with it? You could actually hear the audio of the painting as it's playing. I, I don't know. It's really, really cool though to see this. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed it and you're really excited, you can check it out for yourself. Link's going to be in the description. Again, all you have to do is place a painting down. You got it. So I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.